Good afternoon everyone and welcome back. Now this is, I think this is part two. Part two to part one which came out the other day. I'm back at Seaford. Now, in the video that I put up the other day from Seaford, it was a disaster. And it was down to my complacency. My complacency with the bait. I got some fresh worms, but I just grabbed some squid, didn't think about it, grabbed some squid, some fish baits from the freezer. They'd been defrosted a couple of times and they weren't fresh and they weren't in the best of conditions. And I just thought I'd turn up here, the place would be in and I'd catch a few plates. It wasn't the case. And I was shown up, uh, other people were catching place and I wasn't. So today I've come equipped with fresh bait to try and target some place. As you can see, Gemma is sitting down there. She's fishing as well. It's a Wednesday. I've taken the day off work and we're basically gonna put three rods out, all target in place. So the rigs that I'm using on these, identical rigs on all of the rods, I've got loop rigs with long flowing traces. Each one's got slightly different bead combination and they're on 1-0 hooks. Um, the top trace on these loop rigs is about two foot long. So I let go of it there. There it is in my hand, up there. And the bottom trace is about three foot long. So I've got big, long flowing traces on each of these rods. And then we get to the bait. I have got fresh rolled blacks, fresh rolled blacks to go on the hook. And to tip this off, um, two different baits. Raw king prawns, that's what the chap was having them on the other day. Um, he was tipping all these worms with raw king prawns and he was getting all his place on that. None of them were touching the squid on his other rod. And then I've got fresh live mussels. I'm gonna try tipping with them as well. And they're from Morrison's, who have a really good uh, fish counter with a lot of good bait, suitable for sea fishing. But what I'm gonna do is get all three rods baited up. Gemma, you're gonna fish, aren't you? But you've got a poorly finger. She's got a poorly finger, so I'm gonna cast for her, but she's gonna try and reel in if we get a place. And hopefully it can't be any worse than last time. So, we're about three hours short of high. Gonna get these baited up, get them in the water now. I'm gonna thread a couple of these uh, blacks on the needle. Take that bottom bit off. And I think a bait that long, four inches, will do for the top hooks. There you go, that can go in there. Push that around the bend. Like so. Bring the stop down to behind the worms. I'll tip that in a minute, but I'm gonna get the rest of the worms on all the hooks. So, on one of these, I'm gonna put prawn. I'm literally gonna do it like the chap did the other day. And he wasn't scared. Whole prawn on there like that. Done. And voila, we're going for big place. One on that one, we're gonna bait elastic that one in a minute. I'll we'll do the same on the top one. So, there's the prawn. I'm just gonna give that a little light bait elastic. There we go, that's the top one done. Nice long bit of worm, bit of prawn with some attractor beads at the top. Voila, 
All right, let's pick this up. Right, there we have it. We have the loot rig with the up and over on the snood clipped in just there. That comes down to the do baits. You just see me bait up on the first rod with prawn and blacks, black lug. I'm gonna do the other ones. They're all gonna look the same and then they're gonna go out. Right, we are ready to cast these out. What I'm gonna do, Gemma's is gonna go at 60, one of these at 80, one at 100. And cover the distance, see which one gets the most bites. So there they all are, clipped up. That one there, that one there. And Gemma's is over here. So let's get these out now. Right, we have a bite on this outside one. Come on. There was a bite. This is very annoying. We've got a uh, survey boat that keeps coming along. Obviously surveying the bottom. But he's come along twice, we've had to bring our rods in. Now he's going up and down, up and down. So he's going out to about 150 meters, coming back in, going back out. So in a second, I have to bring my rods in again. I've just had a bite. All right, we got one, I think. I think we got one, let me just get this set. I don't think it's very big. That's, I've still got it. Let's have a look. Yep, feels like I've got one. Yeah, I feel something. We've got a place. No, right. we want a place. We want a place. It looks like we've got a place here. Here he comes. Happy with this? Oh yeah, nice one. Nice place on there. There we go. Look at that. Get in the sun. Have to bring these rods in because that boat's coming. Yeah, do you want to bring your rod in if you can? There we go. Look at that. That's a keeper place. That's a lovely sized place that is. I'll get the tape measure out in a minute. And we're 
see how long he is. Voila. Oh, this one was greedy and took both of my hooks. He had both snoods in there. This could be fun trying to get this out. Right, so here we are. I've got my little uh, key ring tape measure. And I think he's a good, let's have a look. It's a 30, 37. So the first one out is 37 centimeters. Very nice. That's coming home for dinner. Let's get some bait out and try and get some more. Cat candy casting at its finest. That way, yeah. Beautiful. Nice. There we are. Clipped up. Let's get it out. That's a long one. Come on, Mr. Face. Think he might be hooked. Yeah, I think he might be hooked. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, we got one on here, I think. Yes, we've got one on here. Let's try and get some underwater shot of this. Let's get this set up. Where is he? He's coming. He's coming, he's down there. Feels decent. Right, there we go, another place. Lovely. That's good. He's a bit smaller. Well, there we go. Second place, bit smaller. Let's get him unhooked. We'll measure him, see what he wants. Right, measures. So there we have it, another place, 34 centimeters. That's good, that's a key part. That's going in the bag, taking that home for dinner. Lovely two place on the deck. The tip off bait is really, really making a difference. I know it's a different day, different tide, all of that. But um, Sunday, I was not getting a bite. And today I am. Anyway, let's get some more baits in the water. We may have another bite on the left hand rod. Yeah, there it is. Maybe hooked. Let's see what happens. Right, had some bites on here. It's gone quiet, so let's check this one. Don't think we've got any ink. Or have we? Have we got something on here? We may have a fish without really knowing. I was caught on something. I really feel head shakes, but it feels heavy. What's going on with this? I think we've got a fish on here. We've got a fish on here, and I didn't even know. We have got a fish. There we go. That do. Didn't really know about him. Here we go. 
don't. And you just sat there. Lunching away, minding his own business. Now, he has swallowed that, so... As he is a keeper... Well, I'm going to put him out of his misery and get the hook out. Lovely fish. Well, literally just cast the right one out and the left one just pinged round. There we go. Yep. We got that. Yep. We've got another place. Feels like another keeper. it be nice if they come in on the turn the tide's going down now have I dropped it no he's still there no is, is it a place oh it's a tiddler I think or is it weed no it is a a tiddly place and well, that one can go back because he is undersized There we go. A little undersized place there. Get him unhooked. There we go. It's definitely undersized. He can go back. Let's check this. Nothing on there. Right, this one's been nodding about a bit while I've been baiting the others up. So let's see if there's any on it. If not, let's get fresh bait on it. Yeah, I don't know. No, there's nothing on that. Time for fresh bait. And we'll see what happens. Right. It's gone a bit quiet. It really has. Um, so I'm going to change... I'm changing the rig on one of the rods. I'm putting a one up, one down. Same bait. But the longer snoods on the loop rig were starting to tangle. So I'm going to put shorter snoods on. See if that gets me a bite. There's me nearly falling over. And we persevere for a little bit longer. But um, still a lot better than the other day. The prawns seem to be working as the tipping off bait. So I am happy. The tide is now approximately like an hour down. So I'm hoping we should get some bites still. So let me just show you the rig. There's the lead weight there. We've got the bottom snood down the bottom here. I'm just going to straighten that out in a minute. Still with some beads on it. There. And with worm and prawn. And then that clips up. And then the top one is here. And that will clip down. So we're going to get that clip now. 
get that cast out. Right, so there's the rig swinging in front of me. And even if this comes unclipped in the air, I've just got a lot less chance of that tangling with the short snoods. So let's just overhead thump this. That's all I need to do. Nice. Let's see if we can get a bite on that. Well, I'm having to bring all these in again because the survey boat's back out. So I don't know how many times he's going to go past. Last time it was four, three or four. So, oh, let's have a look. Well, unfortunately, this session has come to an end due to the fact that I have got a, a deep sea marker survey boat chugging up and down in front of me at about 20 yards. So, lines have been in really quite annoying because uh, this one, especially baited up to go out. But that boat in the distance keep coming backwards and forwards. So, I'm done. Um, fish, four hours. Done four hours, had four place, place an hour. A um, lot better than the other day. Fresher bait. And um, the bait in which the fish seem to be feeding on, these king prawns seem to work a lot better than the squid. So, uh, learnt something new here. Um, but that's it, really. So, until next time, tight lines. <laughs>